say something to this, Edward? And you know, this guy, Jake, this is your weekly update coming at you right now. In so, the garage. In the garage. We had to come in here today because um, the wind is loud. It is crazy today. I, I don't know. Hey, all we need now is an earthquake and some fire. No, 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 no The no. wind, because uh, uh, I don't want to see. And the fire. And then the gentle and, whisper. We kind of talked about that the last few weeks. And then the gentle whisper. Hey, it's been really good. It's been really good. I've enjoyed uh, listening and learning. And uh, well, Sunday will be the last one. What are, what are you doing Sunday? Uh, we're just going to be in awe of who God is. Good. And where we spend time with him in that gentle whisper and we hear his voice. And as his presence goes with us and before us, we become, and I like this word, Edward, mesmerized. That's a big word for you. Write that down. That's mesmerized by who God is. So if we do a spelling bee, could you spell it right now? No. <laughs> hey, uh, we do have a couple things. Uh, Jake and I were just talking that, you know, the fall and the summer is always crazy. And we just finished up our uh, fall festival and you volunteered for that. You were a part of that. We want to say thank you. Uh, we could not do what we do without great volunteers. And you guys have done that. If you uh, are kind of wondering where your money goes, last Sunday was a phenomenal. Uh, Most of my money's been going to high grocery prices. I heard that. But anyway, uh, just just thank you for being a part of that. But this is a time of year where we kind of shift gears. We start heading towards the holidays. And because Summit Heights is not a heavily, heavily, heavily programmed church. Yep. We don't have uh, Sunday night church, Monday visitation, yeah. Tuesday so, prayer meeting. So things kind of slow down, and, and we embrace that. It's a rhythm that we've embraced for years at Summit Heights, and so we want you to embrace that in this holiday season because it's already crazy enough with families coming in and all that. Thanksgiving's coming up, then Christmas. Uh, so we want you to embrace that. It's exactly what Jake's been talking about over the last couple of weeks. It's just getting still, spending time with God, that he wants to spend time with you. And uh, as he wraps up this message this next week, it's going to be good as well. And, and then you're going to be doing something cool yeah, in the month of November. So we're going to be kind of continuing this uh, uh, presence of God worship. And I, just over and over again, the Lord's brought me back to this word of worship. So we're going to spend the month of November and December teaching about worship. And what we're going to do is uh, we've created a two-month reading plan. It's a 56-day reading plan that will take us through November and December, and it's through the Psalms. And we want to invite you guys, beginning November the 8th, that's not this coming Monday, the following Monday, we're going to have those available at church on November the 7th and November the 8th, we're going to all read the Psalms together. It's one Psalms per day that we're going to be looking Hold at. on, one Psalms one psalm. per day or one, one psalm. Psalm. psalm? One Psalm. One Psalm. You yeah. said Psalms. I did, I did. I know, I appreciate it. So that, that would be like two or three or yeah. four. Per so we're going to read one a day. And, and the whole church, we're going to do this together, and I want to invite you to be a part of that because we're going to be looking at worship, what it means, and then we're going to take December, and we're going to be looking at worship from the Christmas story. Yeah, uh, that's my so favorite story. I, I, I'm, I'm by really, far. really excited. When the dude finally, at the end of the movie, shoots his eye out after his mom had told him I, the whole movie story. that he was going to shoot story. his eye out. Wrong story. We're talking Christmas. about Jesus. We're talking about Jesus. Uh, I thought you were talking about Ralphie and the his novel. BB gun thing. Yeah, you're this Sunday. That's kind of scary. Hey, what do we got coming up? We got, I uh, know, nothing this Sunday. Nothing this Sunday. It's a fifth Sunday. Sunday. That's nothing this Sunday. Kind of yeah, they'll do something event. fun. Yep. So, but on November 7th, first Sunday will be our next groups gathering. If you are not connected in a group, but you want to be connected in a group and you want to meet some other people that want to be connected in a group and you want to meet some of our small group leaders, then you need to hang out after church on November the 7th and we'll have a groups gathering. So email me, jake at summonheightsfellowship.com, yeah. call the church office, or fill out on the communication card that you want to be a part of that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Also, we want to remind you that uh, any end of the year giving, it's that time of the year. We're moving in November, December. Uh, if you guys have end of the year giving, we encourage you to uh, do that and contribute to that as we continue to meet budget and continue to meet needs in this community. We also can receive stocks and uh uh, those sort of things, investments, and that, that also... Bitcoins, I mean, whatever you got. Yeah, Bitcoins. Uh, we did figure that out. I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, on the Tom Brady day. gave a Bitcoin to that kid. I, I had no idea what it is, yeah. uh, to be honest with you. Hey, another uh, favorite part of the Christmas story I like is when that kid sticks his tongue to the pole, and it freezes. And it, that, that was hilarious. Summit, we love you. Uh, we cannot wait to see you Sunday, 10 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be a cool morning this Sunday, Jake. You might have to wear 
a long sleeve Sunday mornings. Uh, fall has come again. It was here a couple weeks ago, then it left, and now it's come back again. So, uh, hey, we love you. Can't wait to see you. Invite somebody to come with you Sunday morning to join you online, wherever you are. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being at church on Sunday and joining us. We'll see you then.